I grew up in Texas, grew up on a, on a uh, my, our family had a ranch, our family was in a ranching business and other things, but uh, so uh, I grew up in that environment where you uh, you eat steak and potatoes and everything fried and, and uh, uh, people were hunters and all of that kind of stuff. So uh, that's the background I come from when you uh, conjure up an image of Texas, that's, you know, that's, that's where I was. I was already kind of cognizant from the standpoint that I probably should uh, do something about my health. You know, you see so much in the uh, media about uh, uh, how bad uh, I thought at the time red meat was for you and that kind of thing. And, uh, but the other thing that really uh, came into play was just my own mortality from the standpoint that I, you know, when I was younger I was invincible. Uh, and yet uh, as I was getting older I had uh, friends who I thought were in good health. Uh, some of them were, jo one of them was a jogger attorney that I knew. And uh, he uh, jogged, you know, several days a week and uh, looked to be in great health and just dropped dead of a heart attack one day while he was jogging. And so uh, that uh, uh, really got my attention and then I lost another uh, friend uh, who was in the oil and gas business uh, through a heart attack who I thought was in good, good health also. So it really started, you know, I started to focus in on, on uh, you know, well, if these guys, you know, can have a heart attack and I thought they were healthy, you know, what is, what's my risk? It's my uncle. He had, he had a stroke and, then, and it was very debilitating and then he had uh, multiple strokes after that. And to make a long story short, he spent the last year of his life in a nursing home on feeding tubes and, and uh, hooked up to IVs and, and that kind of thing. My wife, uh, she got me to uh, read the China study after she read it and uh, it uh, totally changed my outlook. I 100% uh, uh, changed my diet and shortly thereafter that we went to um, Costa Rica to the uh, uh, McDougal uh, getaway uh, for 10 days, I believe it was. That uh, really uh, reinforced uh, uh, what I had read about and, you know, it gave us a practical way of going about uh, uh, trying to uh, change our, our diet and, and, and live this life. And about that same time frame, uh, we uh, discovered that uh, my PSA score had gone up to uh, over four and so uh, uh, we decided after talking with Dr. McDougall uh, down there at the 10-day uh, event uh, that we would uh, really try to clean our diet up even stronger and uh, we uh, eliminate oils and uh, all sugar and things like that, nothing refined in, in, our, in our food and uh, um, to make a long story short, our, our PSA, my PSA score has come down uh, to uh, about uh, one I think the lowest we've had it lately is uh, 0.98, and it's been uh, either side of uh, one uh, now for the last uh, several uh, couple of years. And within the first month, I lost 20 pounds easily, and uh, my uh, cholesterol, which was over 200 at the time, came down to around 150, uh, and it stayed there since then. I used to have to sleep with a bottle of Maalox by my bed because I would have uh, indigestion, you know, that type of thing, and it wake me up in the middle of the night. And so, so I would, uh, you know, I'd eat maybe three or four Maalox, you know, a night just to get through a night, you know, and this was, you know, almost every night. And so uh, uh, the first thing I noticed about that is uh, that total, those symptoms went away. I've had, I have not eaten a Maalox since then. I wouldn't even, of course, think of it now, but uh, at the time I thought that was the thing to do. Being the mayor uh, gives you some advantages within the community as far as uh, at least nobody's going to tell you too much to your face that they think you're crazy. Now when they get behind you they will. But, but uh, one thing is though it, it, it's given us a, a platform uh, to talk about and, and so uh, what we've tried to do is bring a community uh, change within our community. Uh, through uh, uh, bringing uh, people in to talk to us. Uh, we've created a group called Get Healthy Marshall. It's drawn a lot of attention in the media and a lot of uh, 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 people are, have taken notice of it and we've had a lot of results in other people's lives and so uh, we've started uh, trying to make a change within our community uh, to reach out uh, and uh, uh, bring this message to, uh, to our city. We started out uh, presenting this message to our firefighters and our fire department and uh, we made some uh, headway there, uh, even to the extent that our fire chief and our assistant fire chief have changed their diet. They've lost 20, 30 pounds. Our assistant chief was a diabetic on insulin. Uh, he's off all of his medications now. Uh, our, uh, our fire chief was taking uh, meds for uh, to control blood pressure and that type of thing. He's off of all of that now. 
Uh, it spilled over some of the people in our police department, some of the other people in our fire department. So uh, uh, what my hope is and uh, what I would like to do going forward is to bring something to just for our city employees to see if we can't find a way to uh, get them to embrace this because our health care costs have been going up. Um, exponentially over the last few years and it's a huge huge drain on our budget. One of our city employees who is our Main Street uh, um, uh, manager, uh, he, he, um, he had had two heart attacks. Uh, he was um, uh, over a hundred pounds overweight and uh, he was uh, taking uh, four shots of uh, insulin a day for diabetes and uh, he was uh, having uh, uh, continued having heart difficulties, uh, heart uh, angina and things like that. And uh, uh, he, was, he was in bad, bad shape. And uh, we were able to uh, visit with him enough to coax him into making a change. We gave him Dr. McDougall's uh, books and uh, information about that. And, and we kind of tried to implement the McDougall program for him in his life and help him with that. And, and uh, he has since lost 100 pounds of weight. Uh, he's off all of his medications. Uh, he's not having any uh, heart issues at this point. He's gone from being one of our, our uh, biggest uh, uh, financial uh, liabilities in our health plan to uh, zero. And, uh, and he's an advocate now. And, in, yeah, and he's actually an advocate uh, within, the, within the city for uh, uh, embracing this type of uh, lifestyle.